Okay. Load. I'm just trying to finish this this um act off because this is the last one. I mean last part. Also, I kind of pushed my laptop a little bit too hard yesterday because I didn't have my cooler because my laptop overheats. Only when I do Sony Vegas though, because I guess it takes a lot out of it. And I didn't use my um, fan, thingy, whatever. So it got really, really hot and it's been running slow. So I'm not gonna do that again. But anyway, <clears throat> I had trouble get getting to sleep that night. So that next next morning finds me especially groggy. I briefly consider skipping class. I briefly consider skipping class, but I remind myself that I was supposed to be a stronger person now. I get up like a good boy and put on my uniform. Then make way to the main school building without eating breakfast, which is a sin because you should always eat something for breakfast. I sit in my seat in class, through that tree, waving a greeting to Misha and Sean like I do every morning, and let the day wash over me. Vietnamese new classes are always longer than those in the morning. This is true regardless of whether I count it by the minute or by the number of doodles drawn in my notebook. Today I'm especially distracted as I keep thinking about Ren. Did I manage to properly tell her that I want to get better? Did she understand a word of what I was saying? I think about the kiss we shared and what it means. She was so out of her mind, maybe it means nothing. Maybe we've been getting closer lately. What does that mean? I think about Ren more and more nowadays. I wonder if she thinks about me. She probably does, but not in the same way I think about her though. The ringing of bells makes me flinch. I even realize I haven't been paying attention during the latter half of class at all. But it's okay, because I won't use this shit in real life anyway. I look at this woman of sketches traveling up and down the margins of my notebook, the only thing I got done in the last hour. Feeling vaguely disappointed in myself, I pack up and get to the hallway. Ren is standing right outside the door, her presence stopping me in my tracks as soon as I spot her. Her posture is relaxed as always, but I suddenly feel like I just ate a crowbar, which is a weird expression. I'm having a hard time meeting her gaze. She doesn't seem to have any trouble looking at me, but those dark eyes are making me feel flustered for no reason. It's hard to look straight at her, so I turn my face a little, because I'm a little pansy. Oh, speaking of pansies, I've recently started reading a manga called Holy Land, and the main character is a pansy, but he develops fast, and he just goes from pansy to badass in like 40 chapters. I, I'm only, I'm like a third done the chap, um, the series, because it's a completed manga, but I just started reading and reading and reading because this, the, the author is the same person who made Suicide Island, but that shit takes like months to come out. But since he's actually already finished this one, I started reading it, and Holy Land is a great ass manga. I don't, I don't think it has an anime, but the manga, mmm. It's definitely worth a read. I haven't even finished it yet, but I'm recommending it, so it's it's clearly good. Anyway, I don't know what I should say in this kind of situation. But again, I really know what to say to Ren in any given situation. Uh, hi. Hello. I try to get rid of the awkwardness in my voice and invoke a more natural way of speaking. And I suddenly worry about where I should put my hands. It feels like they're in the way somehow. You know what? You know who hands are never in the way? Yeah. How are you feeling? You, you were pretty out of it yesterday. I'm okay. What do you mean yesterday? You don't remember? See, I don't really like this expression on my face. Like, I, I know she's supposed to look surprised or confused, but it looks like they did it really weird. It's like, I don't know. It, 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 it personally bugs me a little bit. Maybe it's because of the eye, this one eye. Yeah. She, she, she tilts her head to the side like a bird looking somewhat confused. Remember what? I have a pretty bad memory. About yesterday. What about yesterday? I came to see you and I don't remember that kind of thing happening. She really doesn't remember? I don't know if this is a good or bad thing. It's a bad thing. Because I want her to remember. But I feel disheartened at the same time. I remember that I promised to show you one place though. Did that happen for real? Maybe I just think that I remember that and I really don't. No, that was real too. Okay. Do you want to go? Now? Yeah. Well sure, why not? Is it far? It's not. Together we walk downstairs and outside. You, the, the usual summer day wooing cacatas. I, can I can't see all these words. And all greets us. It's immensely hot. And without the air conditioning the classrooms offer, I start sweating immediately like a pig. We start along the tree line pathway that leads towards the dorms. The cherry trees offer shade with sunlight blinking through the holes in the canopy, which is a. That seems to be the favorite word in this walkthrough canopy. Like, whatever. The light creates a chaotic pattern of shadows dappled with the bright places where the beams hit the pavement. Rin's eyes are wandering in every direction but mine. I get the feeling that it's intentional. She leads me to the back gate once again, taking us through it, taking us through it and in, into the forest beyond. As before, the dropping temperature and the drastically reduced levels of light make it feel like the forest is swallowing us into its cavernous belly. Because that's not weird, weird at all. <clears throat> we hit up here along the same, same path as before, snaking away the trees and boulders over roots and rocks past wild undergrowth, birds singing somewhere in the woods, solos for, for the humming background music of the treetops.
Oh, you, you can hear the birds. Just a little bit. Hmm. We, we go past a small clearing with the big maple that is now called the Worry Tree. The climb steepens and then becomes easier again. I have to stop a few times to catch my breath. If in hurry, I have to run. Who doesn't stop to wait for me? Because she's actually in shape. Soon, I'm out of breath again. Ugh, I'm so disappointed with myself. Suddenly, the trees end and we emerge from the forest. The boundary of the woods is sharp and abrupt as if a line has been drawn directly to market like on a map. The hill continues to climb up a little further ahead, but from here to the top is a rocky meadow, patches of grass and small bushes that look like they're growing straight from the rock. We soon reach the highest point with the forest behind us and the view to every direction opening in front of our eyes. The city lies far below and away, lazily revealing, reveling, reveling? Reveling in the quiet afternoon mood. You can see pretty far from here, and the vista is beautiful. I wonder how high we are. We are. The pre I, I, I breathe the. F oh, yeah. Hmm. I breathe the fresh air and feel my heart rate slowly going back down. I think I might have overdone it a bit. A higher pulse is dangerous for me. I'm feeling fine right now, though. The wind picks up, ruffling my hair, and causes the trees below us to sway. It makes the grass undulate in the waves as if the breeze sweeps across the hilltop. Sun shines from the open skies upon us, a few clouds passing by to shadow it. What was painful heat before is now gentle warmth. I take a good look around. The hilltop is pretty in the way nature often is, unplanned, harmony found in the nature in the natural arrangement of things. The most striking feature is the abundance of small yellow flowers. They're literally everywhere in this small meadow. I can't help commenting on it, because I always speak what's on my mind without thinking. Wow, a lot of flowers. Like, gee, really? Yeah. Do you know this kind? They will fly away. Yeah, Denny Lions. There are not many of them at the school. Because they get they cut the grass so often. Nobody cuts grass up here though. The fragile looking flowers will soon turn white and fluffy like cotton, and the wind will carry their seeds away. Oh I don't know why I did that. I crouch down to look at one tiny little flower. Silently basking in the sunlight. There's not a hint of white yet, so it's still waiting for its time to be fulfilled. I brush my fingers against the delicate yellow petals. Feel the soft texture in my fingertips. It feels nostalgic somehow. I hear Rin approaching from behind and stand up back to face her. She has a weird look at, on her face. Something on your mind? I don't know. It's just. Holy crocky! Rin! Okay, let's go. <clears throat> you, you just look so sad. You. You just look so sad all the time. And it becomes, it becomes upset so easily. And it makes me confused. And I don't really. I don't remember much about yesterday, because I, because I, uh, <clears throat> anyway, sorry, sorry. You just look so sad all the time, and because upset, and you become upset so easily, and it makes me confused, and I really don't remember much about yesterday, except that you came to my room, and that's why it might be because of me, so it's, if it's because of me, I think that I know why. It's because people don't like really talking to me, and you might be that same, and that would be sad. I know the people, and I'm talking about others, and Amy too, always says that I'm strange, and that I talk strange things, so I thought I'd try not to say strange things, but that just makes me think more, and new, and strange and colorful. That was a good, that's not a good word, but maybe you understand a way and odd things. So if I want to say something, I don't really know how. I mean, the words are not the same as I thought, as my thoughts, because something goes wrong on, on the way out. But it's not like the thoughts I, I really think I should be saying. It's more like the idea, the thought, or the feeling, of the idea, or the idea, of the feeling. But it's not really any of those either, because there's or there's no word for it unless I invent a new word, which is not really useful. So, so I've been thinking of doing better. If doing things is better than saying than saying it. So maybe because yesterday I took those pills and I was feeling a little strange, I might have done something that. Be right back, phone. Okay, I'm back. Where the hell was I? I, I know I said this thing. I'll, I'll, I'll say this again. <clears throat> I should be saying it's more like the idea of the thought or the feeling of the idea. What idea of the feeling, but it's not really any of those to you because there's no word for it unless I invent a new one, which is not really useful. So I've been thinking of doing things is better. So I've been saying, or oh, maybe because yesterday I took this pill and I was feeling a little strange. I, I might have done something that I shouldn't, have, shouldn't. Besides, I don't even know if I should be any better if I just could say the thought. There's no telepathy. I mean telepathy, that's really telepathy, isn't there? I think it'd be terrible and useful at the same time, but right now I wouldn't mind being... I wouldn't mind because be, misunderstanding is so easy, but understanding is not, and I thought... Ah! <laughs> I grasped I grasp her shoulders and squeezed hard to make her stop. I don't have the capacity to take all that in at once. Friend shuts up instantly. Take a breath, girl! Gosh! I'm not upset, why would I be? I'm just a little confused, but it's alright. I wonder if I was making a face she doesn't like again. I guess I've been thinking about yesterday all the time. Maybe I look weird. But I wish I had a mirror with me all, all the time because I would be a really, really feminine man. Like, why do you want a mirror, dude? Are you that con conceited? Gosh. Gosh. Oh, my goodness. 
No need to get all. No need to get it all set at once. I'll listen even if you talk slower. It just came out. Sorry, I'm okay now. I just wanted to say something. I didn't mean that much. It's weird, isn't it? She looks at me with a surprisingly timid expression, one that I haven't seen before. I can't help but laugh a little. Yeah, it's weird. You're a pretty weird person, but there's nothing wrong with that. Thanks for being worried about me. But I'm gonna get better. I told you that yesterday, but I guess you don't remember that either. I don't. I don't know what else I forgot. Hopefully nothing important like my own name. That'd be terrible. Well, you kissed me. I did? Yeah, you did. On the lips! I try to sound as matter of fact as I can, but I worried that I might be blushing again. Did you kick me? No, wh why would I do that? Then it's all good, right? It's okay, right? I didn't forget my name. Yeah, it's okay. I wish it was more suave so that I could come up with a better follow-up. But nothing comes to mind. It's a good thing that Ren has more to say. It makes me feel relieved somehow. I think I should say sorry. I'm really bad with people. Something's something so hard to understand. Like jellyfish. Do you understand jellyfish? I get. I guess not. People are like jellyfish to me. I don't understand. Now it's her turn to make a face I don't really like seeing. I've really never really had any friends. Nah, I'm your friend for one. For now. Until we, you know, go further. But yeah, I'm your friend, Ren. We're awkward friends. The best kind. I mean, think about it. We already talked to each other a lot. We've gotten upset at each other and been forgiving each other for it. That doesn't really mean we're friends. I don't. I don't call that friendship. That's, that's what they call friendship. No, it's so. Uh, where do I go? I guess some people would call that friendship. Eh, uh, fine. Let's go with it. It's really nice of you to say that. I have always been able to tell everything to pencils and paints and paper. They're my best friends. It is harder with people. I have to use words. That is hard for me. Yeah, I know. You told me about how you forget. Rin nods at me word wordlessly, and I dare attempt to show her a little encouraging smile. Hope we do it properly. She doesn't reply in any way. I feel really glad. But this is when it's between herself and everything else has made me feel really uneasy ever since I met her. If you become real friends, I'm sure I could understand her more. I'm sure that this way we can close the gap of understanding between us. My thoughts don't transmit to Rin. Rin. <clears throat> she seems lost deep in thought, wandering amidst the sea of yellow flowers covering the grassy hilltop. It's just as well. Time passes, the breeze making the taller grass sway gently in time with the wind. Rin hums a little song. Sorry, I thought I saw something. Rin hums a little song to herself, so quietly that I can't tell what it is, if it's anything at all. A stronger gust sweeps over the hilltop, and the sound of the trees in the wind buries the song away. I take my watch more than, have, more than anything else. It's 4.30 right now, on this Saturday afternoon, and I'm loving this life right now. Rin looks into the distant horizon. Innocence. I was like... I have a hard time placing songs. I mean, melodies. And in every soundtrack of a game, I love some songs, but I, I can never remember the names. Except for this game. I, I know one for a fact. You know, Last of Us is, you know, The Path. There's, um, Aftermath. There, there's a few, but I, I can never remember the songs, or the, the, um, the names of the songs, the titles, you know, that shit. I'm, I'm bad with words. Rin looks into the distant horizon with that odd, blank stare of hers, as if she were looking at nothing at all. Her people are dark and quiet like a pair of deep, still ponds. You're going to become better, right? Yes! Don't say sure! That's a weak answer! Yes! 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 Me too, you know. I want to talk to that friend of the teacher and ask her to put my stuff in a place and work hard to get it all done. I said that just now, you know, but I think I knew it all along. I've had this feeling for a long time now that I'm going to change. Even if I hate it and don't want it, even if I wanted to, I would change. Like I am not enough the way I am. I think this could be a good way to do it because it's like a straight line. Like I've learned all the things in my life so far just for this. It's just art, and it's the only thing I really know. I know what I'm going to do, so it's good. I'm not afraid at all. I feel like I always do. Is that weird? No, not at all. 
I close my eyes and give in to the irresistible sensation that's been growing inside me all week long. I float up towards the surface of my own life. The pressure of being underwater slowly diminishes, the weightless sensation becoming stronger. I break the surface of the water, lifting my head into the sunlight and inhale deeply, breathing in the fresh air as if for the first time in a long, long time. My lungs fill with oxygen and I open my eyes to see Rin's peaceful, determined face. We walk down the slope carefully and slowly to avoid falling down. Rin in the lead and me a few steps behind. Rin surely can do this. Even if she can't, she's going to poo through. I'm sure that I can keep my head above water too from now on. The sun sets behind our backs, setting the water blazing its orange glow. I keep watching the back of the redhead girl des descending the path a few steps ahead of me. If it's only this much, this distance between us is definitely within my reach. That was Act 2. Act 3 is called Distance. Because of, you know, distance. <laughs>